Welcome back, everybody to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to do some stuff uh, around the base overnight, and then in the morning, we're going to go back out and s try and get a beaker. <laughs> we need a beaker so bad right now. Um, for We need a beaker for two or three different things, but primarily so we can up, uh, upgrade the chemistry station. Um, so that I can make gasoline again. So says we're getting pretty low on gas. Uh, one of you guys mentioned to me not to leave this running in the comments, and you were absolutely right because now I am out of gas. So what we're going to have to do is put a switch uh, for this thing. Um, so do I happen to have a switch in here? Let's take a look. If we had one, it would be in here most likely. And then, yeah, diamonds... Um, one one suggestion in the comments was to see if the traders have diamonds, and I they might. I wasn't actually looking for those at all when we went around to the traders. Uh, we need th uh, three more in total. Um, you know, as you guys know, if you've been watching all along, I've been mining my butt off in this game, and you know, I'm not getting a bunch of diamonds from that. So uh, I guess they're just like an ultra rare drop or something. Let's put the batteries in here. Uh, I mean, if nothing else, we can always set lanterns back up and put some batteries in them for, for lighting. So that's, you know, that's an option. Oh, we want to make a chicken coop today, too. In fact, let's do that first. Uh, what do we need for that? We'll pin the chicken coop here. And we need a carpenter's table, too, which we all, uh, we actually have three, so we're good to go there. And let's, um... Go chicken. Whoops. Chicken coop. There we go. All right, let's craft that. And I believe we need seeds. So let's take a look and see uh, what, how many seeds or what kind of seeds do I have. And I, I believe pine seeds will work. And it looks like that's what we have the most of. So we'll feed them some pine seeds. Let's put a couple other things away for the moment. I'm going to put that in there. One of the things I want to accomplish in this episode is I want to get the ammunition, weapons, and armor moved over to the to the to the room over there for that. So that is on the agenda as well. So I want to put dirt in here because that's this is currently the farming chest. And we have a little bit of wood that we can put in here. Some leather will go in here. Look at the moon. That's cool looking, man. Very neat. That could go in there. We can put the feathers in here because that's an ammunition item. No, in here. But that again, this is a temporary place for all of that stuff. We got some research data, some candy, uh, a hunter kit. What do I have on here for mods right now? Okay, we're already maxed out on mods, so I don't think I'll put the hunter thingy on there. That's maxed out on mods. That's maxed out on mods. That's maxed out on mods. All right, well, we'll just put the hunter thingy in there for now, and maybe we'll use it later. Let's scrap this, uh, which, whoa, that's not what I meant to do. Um... I guess we can just queue this up, right, for recycling things. And anything that is recyclable has, like, the little icon in the corner, which is neat. Oh, you guys also mentioned, too, that you can recycle a lot of stuff in here and get, you know, hard-to-find parts. Um, so that's really good to know, too. Looking forward to trying all of that. It looks like most of the rest of this stuff is going to go here in the kitchen. So those can go in there, those can go in there, we're keeping candy in uh, this drawer here, empties go in here, also got a large beef ration, and let's see, this is, this, this is drugs and this is meds, which I guess I haven't uh, moved the meds over yet. That we're keep we we're keeping this for the nail gun, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say getting a beaker is even a higher priority than the nail gun. So I'm not gonna do anything with any of that 
until we get the beaker situation taken care of first. I have one full can of gasoline up in the base and then a couple more down in the mining cart. That's how low we are on fuel right now. Um, so, and I've already gone through the struggle of going without fuel for a long time earlier on in this series, and I don't want to have to go through it again. Um, crap, what, did I just put the, I must have just put the, the, uh, pine seeds, what the hell did I just do with the pine seeds? Did I put them all back in here? I probably did, didn't I? We had 77 in total. No, I didn't. Oh, did we? No, we didn't need those to make the chicken coop. All right, what in the world did I do with the pine seed? Um, this is where they're supposed to go, but there's only 39 in here. I guess I'll grab those for now. I put them somewhere. I'll try and figure out where I put them later, I guess. Okay, the chicken coop. We're going to put up on the roof somewhere. And uh, hopefully... Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and harvest, too, while we're at it. Might as well. Hopefully that we can pick the chicken coop back up later. Because where I put it now may not be its permanent location. We'll also, you know, continue to be on the lookout for queen bees so we can make the the uh the beehives when the time comes okay so for now how how big is this thing let's take a look see buck, buck, buck. um yeah we'll put it there for now look at that that is cool man feed chicken coop Okay, nice. So, uh, I don't know how long the, that feed will last, so we'll just have to keep an eye on it. But it looks like they'll be laying in about an hour. I uh, know, in about a day. A day and two hours, actually. Or, no, day and one hour. I don't know, something like that. Anyway, okay, cool. So we got that done. Got ourselves a chicken coop. And very nice, very nice, very nice. Let's head back in here. Did I put those pine cone seeds in here? <laughs> I'm baffled as to what I did with them. Oh, well, they'll show up at some point, I'm sure. Um, I would not have deliberately put them in here, but you never know. Did I drop them? Maybe I dropped them. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, anyway. Not a huge deal. We'll worry about it later. Let's put... Um, actually, I want to put the goldenrod in here. So that's kind of more of a farming thing. It's also a food item, too, so it's a crossover item. Put all that stuff in there. Okay. We got a lot of corn, man. That's a good thing. That is a good thing. Okay, so um, I have one sham chowder left, so we're going to carry some beef stews with us, or meat stews, for food. In fact, let's just eat this now, because we need to. All right, whilst we are waiting for daytime, I'm going to grab a couple of these. And what's that? Oh, that's the disassembly station that is no longer uh, being used. And let's grab batteries. I'm not sure exactly how this works, but I want to put some light in here while we're working in here. Oh, that's already there. Okay, so do I just put the battery in my slot and... No, that picked it up. Do I drag the battery? I'll bet you I set it down and then I use the radio menu. That, that's what my guess is on face. Oh, recharge lantern. Oh, I had to reset it. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So how long does that last? Does it tell us? Turn off. Take. It doesn't tell us. 
Okay, well, hopefully it'll last a while. I can't recharge it without picking it back up, it looks like. Yeah, okay. I mean, this still might be a, a viable way to light things if uh, the batteries don't run out super fast. Uh, they certainly provide a lot of good light. Uh, let's do the same thing with this one. Okay, cool. Turn it on. All right, now, um, I want to make another ballistics table. And we have to start with a tier one. Um, what is that going to cost us? A tier one ballistics table is... None of those resources are significant. Um, here, let's at least put one lantern in here too so we have some light okay what was I doing um, oh I was gonna look and see how much scrap iron I have we got lots of scrap iron okay so yeah why don't we make ourselves a another uh, tier one ballistics table I'll pin that we need tin cans and two glue uh, the glue is probably in here. Yes, it is. Okay, let's go get ten, ten cans. Ten, ten cans. Should have a bunch of those. And then we need five oil, thirty paper. Five oil... Thirty paper and um, two duct tape. Got lots of duct tape. That's always a good thing in this game. Fifty plastic. You know we don't have a ton of plastic. We've got enough, but we don't have a ton. Five boards or five logs and ten boards. And then one bench vise, which I think we make in here. Let's craft that. That'll take 20 seconds. And then we'll have another forge. Okay. I'm going to put those back in there for now. And everything else here we need to make the thingamadoodle. Okay, and I'm assuming we craft that in the workbench, probably, right? Ballistics table. Craft. There we go. Okay, so that is cooking up for us. How long is that going to take? Oh, it's almost done. Okay, so we'll wait for that to finish. Um, and then we'll take it on over there. Those chickens, definitely hear the chickens, can't you? All right, what's going on here? Uh, let's make up some more stone powder. You're done making stone powder. We don't need any more coal powder at the moment. And um, what I want to do now is I want to make some cement. So we can make a thousand cement, but we need to save some of this to make the concrete mix. So why don't we do... Let's do 300 in here. And 300 in here. We have the required fuel. Oh. That's going to take seven and a half minutes. Close enough. That's going to take nine-ish, ten minutes. There we go. Okay, good. So that's taken care of. Put the rest of the stone powder in here, and we'll use that to make actual concrete mix. Um... <coughs> Okay, so let's grab our ballistics table from the workbench. I'm not necessarily... I mean, I'll probably will eventually upgrade this to a Tier 2, but for now we can keep it a Tier 1 because the idea is we can have one... You know, we can double up on gunpowder production, for example, which we should be able to do in the Tier 1. Oh, oh no, the gunpowder... I'm sorry, that's made in the chem bench. But 7.62s... 
and shotgun shells, those are the two things in particular that I make a lot of, and pipe bombs, uh, at least at the moment. So we can have, you know, this double both of these up on making ammunition as needed. Okay, next thing we want to do is we want to get some storage in here. Um, and we want to start moving our stuff, you know, like our weapons and things like that in here. We could, um... Oh, wait a minute. Did neither one of these broadcast? Oh, he's... Okay, he's moved it to the... To the radio menu. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, you know, we have pretty decent storage in here. But, I mean, eventually I'd like to have a metric butt-ton of, of ammunition made up. So that's not really going to ultimately be an adequate amount of storage. I do kind of like the cabinets up here, though. <clears throat> but I'm almost thinking they, we should put them up an, another block so they're on the same level as that. Plus, that would give us a little more headroom here anyway. So can I pick this up? No, I can't. So we're going to have to remake that. And I can't pick that up either, can I? Nope. And we want to repaint stuff in here, too. Uh, okay, so let's go back into here. I don't have a lot of paint, but I'm sure we could probably make some more if we need to. Well, I shouldn't assume that now with the update. Yeah, we can make paint in here. Chrysanthemum, goldenrod, and some cans. Blech. I didn't look to see how many cans it wanted, but... Chrysanthemum, goldenrod. Come on, lag. Seems like the menu lag is worse on the new update now. Okay, that'll make us 200 more paint, which should be enough for what I'm planning on doing, the little bit that I'm planning on doing today. Okay, so let's see. We want to put storage in here. What do I have already for storage? We have in here, let's see, we've got bookcases, shelves. I've got the leather trunks, but I don't really want to use those. One reinforced chest. And then a bunch of these little wood crates. Yeah, I don't really want to use any of that stuff. I want a little more sophisticated storage. Uh, I don't mind using... Well... Can I pick these up? Unlock, enter code, stop broadcasting. It doesn't look like I can. Oh, I, I think I can if they're empty. Almost wonder if we should move these into to here. For one reason, they look different than the other ones. And we could put those up on the wall there. And then make a couple more of the iron ones to put in here. Because I like the way the iron ones look. Now, eventually we'll be able to make the titanium storage as well. But that's probably pretty expensive. So how much does it, does it cost to make two more iron storage thingies? Large. That's not terribly expensive. We're just going to need to make some... Uh, hinges and rebars, which should not be an issue at all. How many more of those do we need? I think it said we needed three more. Two or three more, so let's make those. And I don't remember how many hinges it said. It makes two, so let's make six. Okay. And that should be enough. That's the little iron storage. Where's the big one? That's the steel. All right, here, let's just do it this way. Iron storage. Um, 
Can I not pull those out of there? Either that or they're not. That's steel rebar. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Okay, so I need two more hinges and five more rebars. That'll give me two right there, and then these are one per. Then we can make uh, two of those to replace these guys in here. All right, now what I'm going to do is... This has got a lot of space in it. It does. All right, so let's take all of that out of there. And we're just going to shift it into here for now. Oh, there's the pine seeds. Okay. <laughs> Those don't go in there at all. Grab these. Put those back in there. And we should be able to make a second iron storage bin. All right, now we should be able to pick this up. Okay, and then how much stuff is in here? Is, can we get it all? Yeah, we should. I think we can get all of that in there. This is just temporary, of course. And then, um, here, I can actually just hang on to the rest of that for the moment. Okay, we'll pick this up. That one's just about finished. Good. Okay, so these are... Chemical materials. And these are I think these are supposed to be chemical products. But keep in mind that some of that stuff we're gonna actually put in the bathroom too. Okay, so for products, stuff that's already manufactured which is none of that so we're gonna put all of this stuff in here not that Okay, I think that takes care of all that. I'm going to put the antibiotics in the bathroom. And then in here, we want to take out... Coal powder. And... I think that's all we want. And we'll put that stuff in there. Now I might actually, anything that makes gunpowder, well, the thing about coal powder though is it's used for multiple things. But so we'll have some, we'll keep some of it in the, in the armory and some of it in here. Okay. Let's go into here. Put the drugs in there. Oh no, the, sorry. These are drugs. This is me medicine, which is also drugs, but you know what I mean. Okay. Now, let's go into here, and we're going to take and put... Uh, oh, I wanted to get my paintbrush. Did I not get my paintbrush? I didn't get my paintbrush. i got to get my paintbrush. That's what we're going to do. Oh, i got to remember to make a switch for that thing, too. Paintbrush is going to be in here. And, you know, all the stuff in here is what we're going to actually be moving into the armory. 
But I have to figure out what I want to paint this first. Um, what did we do in here? We kind of used the metal look for the vault, but that's because that's a vault. And we want the outside of this to also be metallic looking. Okay, so for this wall, um, and the floor for that matter, this is a workshop environment. So for the floor, we could <sighs> sidewalk cracked. What does this look like? Eh, that might almost look better on the wall. Not, I'm not feeling that. I, I'm just not feeling that. Okay, what else? What other options do we have here? What about concrete bricks? Yeah, those, those could work. Okay. Yeah, let's just go with this. At least for now. Can always change it later if we decide to. Um, I'm going to have to probably pick these up again. To get that taken care of. Is there anything in here? A few pipe bombs. Uh, no, that needs to be metal. Okay, now for the floor... What do we want to do for the floor of our place here? We could just do the tread plate again, I suppose. At least for in this part of the room. Is that what we did in here, too? It is. Yeah, I, I that makes sense. Let's do that. Those blocks have that, that weird... Uh, trim piece around them. I kind of don't like that because it's it just looks a little weird, but I don't want to take the time right now to break them up and put new ones down, so we're just going to leave it the, as is for, for the time being. Turn that off. Why am I so heavy? Probably from carrying those workstations. All right. You know, the chickens are cute and all, but uh, that little squawking might get on my nerves after a while. Oh, you know, this is fine. Okay. I thought it was going to make it look different, but you can't really tell. So, yeah, we're good with that. We're not going to change that. Any chance I can hit this corner without having to pick this up? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Now I'm really heavy. Okay, so let's get the workstations back down. And then because it's morning, we are going to go on the hunt for some beakers. We'll put the, the ballistics table there. We'll put that ballistics table there. We will take and put these guys up here like so. And um, these are all about ammunition, baby. All about ammunition. Okay, so um, let's go ahead now and I'm going to grab uh, you know what? No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this later. I know I said I was going to do it now, but I, we need to take advantage of the daylight and get out there. So I'll move all that stuff later over into the armory. Might do that with you guys on camera, might not. We'll just see how it goes. Uh, but let's prioritize our time properly here. We'll just take those. Okay, so do we have what we need to go out and about? We got food, we got water, we got ammunition. We got poison antidote in case we need it. We got some meds. Uh, we don't need to take the lantern with us. So we'll put that in here. We have money. In case that's needed, and I think we're good to go. I do want to... Okay, let's make sure everybody's loaded. Oh, I don't need 500 rounds of... Did I leave the ammo in here? Yeah, I did. 
Uh, we don't need 500 rounds of sniper. Let's take... Well, you know, I was using it quite a bit, wasn't I? Let's take that many. Uh, we have a full thing of 7.62s, and is the M60 loaded? It is. The M60 could stand to be repaired before we leave, and that's going to require titanium plating. Probably two, I'm guessing. Insufficient. Oh, are you shitting me? Really? Oh, man. Subquake, you're killing me, dude. Oh, okay. Um, What does this require? We don't... Damn it, Jim. Wow, that's expensive. Okay. Um, That means we can't repair our M60. Ugh. Do I have another M60 that's a lower level? I do. Can we repair this M60 in here? Yes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. When this one completely breaks, I'm going to have to switch it out for this one. We're going to lose... We're going to only lose 6.2 points of damage. That's not that big a deal. Uh, well, we'll also lose mod slots too, but you know what? It is what it is. Until I can get this upgraded, I can't do a damn thing about it. Yeah, this is really setting me back, man. More than I thought it would. I'm not complaining. I know it sounds like I'm complaining. I'm not. I'm okay with it. It's just that I wasn't expecting it, so it's that initial shock of what the hell did I just get myself into kind of situation. You know what I'm saying? Are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? I think you are. Okay. It is what it is. We will recover we will prevail we will move on and all will be right with the world okay let's get the heck out of here um and go find a beaker so we've already checked the traders um i think really our best option is going to be loot so we need to find like hospitals and places like that and see if we can find one in loot, because, yeah, we had no luck. We checked every single trader that I've uncovered on this map in the last episode, and not a single one of them had a beaker. Um, again, I'd like, I, I, I want to look and see if they have diamonds, because you guys mentioned in the comments that they might, and I have no idea if they sell diamonds. I've never even considered looking at a trader for diamonds, so all we need is three more. If we can get three more, then we can make the beaker, and then... You know, then we can proceed. Okay, so. What do I have in here for gas? Seriously? I don't think she called in any bad guys. Okay. We're, we are generating a lot of heat, so that's why she showed up. Okay, this is all I got, you guys. Do I have any gas in here? <laughs> I don't. Okay, well, let's take two of these with us so we can refill the bike because we're probably going to be... In fact, we might as well top it off, too. Uh, I got a little extra money in here, too, if we need it. Okay, so... Let's think about this. It probably would, probably would be worth it for us to go back to at least the nearby traders and just see if they have any diamonds. So let's do that first. Urgent care and poppin' pills. I do not know if I have been in here, but this is the kind of place we could potentially find a beaker. So let's go in here. Yeah, I haven't looted any of this stuff, so there's a pretty fair chance that we haven't been in here. Who dat? I don't know. Okay. Let's see if we can get some cash Ola out of here. I wonder if there's diamonds in ATM machines. That would be cool. 
Maybe in an alternate reality there is, but not in our reality. You know what, though? This could actually be an alternate reality. Maybe this isn't the apocalypse at all. Maybe this is just a parallel universe that has monstrous, rapacious big mamas that like to show their panties. Um, not that we enjoy that at all. And, you know, it's not the apocalypse of our world at all. Ooh, look at this. Come on, beaker. That was not a beaker, but you know what? I want to actually take this shelf for deco purposes. Okay, we'll loot this stuff. Um, take some brass there. Always need more books. Okay. Have I been... Have we done this place before? Goes down into a... I don't think we have. I really don't. There's probably a Zeke behind here. Well, there could potentially have been. What's down here? Oh shit! Where? Oh, he. Where did he come from? I shut. I closed the. Whoa! I closed the door, so I wasn't expecting him. He must have come from down up above there. All right. Um. Beaker? That's not a beaker. That's not a beaker. These are not lootable. We're in the morgue, by the way. Just in case you guys didn't pick up on that. Um. Take that. I don't think we'll ever find a beaker in a in boxes. Well, it's probably theoretically possible, maybe. I don't know. That's not what the code says. Uh, we get plastic from these, right? Yes, we need plastic. Plus, we get the other stuff too. So, let's just harvest those corpses. As gross as that is. All right. Um. This goes upstairs. Come on, lag. Cut it out. We don't have time for you. Yeah. Nothing there. Well, we're getting acid. I've got quite a bit of acid already, though. Oh, we're just back up to the floor we started on, aren't we? Okay. Well, here, let's, um, should probably be using, I'm guessing, the axe on these? Yes. Okay. This is not a lootable ambulance. Guess we're supposed to go up this way? Is this a parkour scenario? It looks like it is. Okay, we're on the roof. Ooh, there's a bird. Possibility for a beaker in this poppin' pills stuff here. One can hope. Come on, Beaker. No, but... 20% extra damage to knock down opponents? Sure, why not? Alright, that's good stuff too. I'll take it. Not what we were looking for, though. Anything down here? We'll pick this up. More paper, more books. That's always good. None of these desks are lootable. Is there... That's just a zombie hiding place there, I think. I'm not seeing anything else in here. Okay, well, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> um... We are out of time. So, I'm going to end the episode here, and then we're going to start up the next episode right here, exactly where we left off, and keep 
looking for a beaker. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment to share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.